My colors always get so dirty so quick. How do you guys stop that from happening? What's up everyone and welcome back to Ross Ross. I'm Ross and this is the channel where I let Bob Ross teach me how to paint. Today we're going to be doing Season 17, Episode 2, The Old Home Place. And it seems to be just kind of a nice, calm country painting. He says it'll make you feel good, so let's just get started. As always, I have my background painted in liquid white, and Bob's going to take some cat yellow and lay that in the sky. And without cleaning the brush, Bob goes into some yellow ochre. And he lays that underneath here. He's always blending these as he goes. And then he gets the tiniest bit of alizarin crimson. Trying to get most of it off because I'm pretty bad for uh, overdoing it on the crimson. <laughs> and he lays a little on the top as well. Bob says we got a little light spot here, so he does a little more of his uh, finger painting technique with a lizard and crimson this time instead of titanium white. He just lays a little indication of a sun right there in the middle. And without cleaning his brush again, he just kind of blends this a little bit. And then Bob just kind of gives it the old swoop. Now Bob takes a bit of a lizard and crimson and phthalo blue. He said much more of the crimson than the blue. So we're going to make some kind of purpley color. Bob's going to take this purple that we just made. We're going to lay in some clouds. And Bob does a really light horizon line of clouds. Alright, we're going to blend this a bit. Bob's going to take a tiny bit of that same purple color. Just want a little bit of that because he wants it really far away so it's not going to have a lot of detail in it. Ooh, that still might be too much.
Bob cleans his brush off a little bit and then just pats this to kind of give it that misty effect at the bottom that we like so much. And we'll give that the swoop. Gonna mix some more of that purpley color. I'm gonna add a little Van Dyke brown, darken it up a little bit. Bob Ross is gonna take that color. We're gonna lay in the indication of some just nice little hills in the front here. Bob really comes down a long way with this one. Now Bob's gonna have us mix up a whole bunch of colors. He's gonna take some uh, Indian yellow, but I'm using uh, lemon yellow. I read that that's the closest thing. We're gonna take some cad yellow, some yellow ochre, a little bit of sap green. We're gonna lay in some color. Bob says, always working towards the front. I think I'm gonna use my palette knife to mix up some of that. And maybe use a slightly smaller brush as well. What colors always get so dirty so quick? How do you guys stop that from happening? Bob says we can also get some titanium white on our brush and brighten up a few of these spots. Bob's gonna get a tiny bit of the phthalo blue. No, certainly a little more than a little, but that'll be okay. Bob just kind of pulls down and Makes a tiny body of water back here. And we're gonna pull that guy across to make it look just like a nice, calm, shimmering body of water. Bob takes his palette knife with some titanium white. He just scrubs in where he thinks some land's gonna be.
Bob's gonna mix a little bit extra Van Dyke Brown and Black into this purpley color we've got. Darken it up even more. Bob says we're just gonna kinda make this a really small pond so you can kinda come into it right here. Now Bob takes his brush without cleaning it. I took a little bit extra uh, titanium white on there, but he just pulls this color down. Bob gets back to his yellowy green color. Bob takes that yellow color and starts filling in this section. Bob gets back into his uh, dark color. He adds a little bit of a area here. While we're in this color, Bob makes a big old tree on this side over here. And we can even put a little bush in here too. Now Bob takes a tiny bit of his burnt sienna and some yellow ochre. He mixes that into some liquid white. He's gonna take that on a liner brush. And then he's gonna take a little bit of Van Dyke Brown on that as well. He's gonna lay in some branches here. Back to my yellow brush. We're going to add a bunch of that color into the tree. I'm going to take a little bit of my titanium white, just give that a little extra highlight. Bob also gives this guy a couple of little friends down here.
All right, I laid this roof on here. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of Van Dyke brown and black. And we add in just kind of a little dark screened in area. Gonna take some, just a tiny bit of titanium black. Titanium black. Just a little bit of black and mix it in my titanium white. I'm gonna mix it in this part here that's also got a little bit of brown. Bob just comes in here and goes. Bob's now gonna take a little bit of his Van Dyke Brown, and we're just gonna lay in some little uh, little boards here. All right, I'm gonna redo those boards. I wasn't super happy with them. I'm gonna take some of my uh, brown liquid white color. We're gonna make a few posts here. I need that a little darker. And then Bob takes that liquid white, just the white, he joins them. I wasn't super happy with this section, so I'm gonna darken it up and add a little more cat yellow on top of it. Yeah, I think that looks better. Also gonna put some of our cat yellow sort of in the back here. And we need some grassy things over here. Gonna be getting our same colors. And with that, I think we have a finished painting. I'm gonna take some of my black and maybe mix it with a little bit of this liquid white. It'll get a gray going. Just something nice and thin so I can sign it. And there we have another finished painting. This one is awesome. Definitely, I need more practice on these, you know, not mountain kind of things, getting a good depth, which I think I did here. 
think this might be the first time I'm happy with how I swooped the uh, sky in the background, so that's awesome. I was able to keep the greens and yellows popping in the trees, and this uh, barn came out really good. Overall, super happy with this one. Thanks again, Bob. If you guys enjoyed this one, please like and comment on the video and subscribe to my channel already. Subscribe to my channel already. <laughs> subscribe to my channel already. <laughs> subscribe to his channel. If you guys liked this video, please like and comment on the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.